We're taking a look at the best of the best in Hawaii. And today, we're talking to the best in fishing and marine stores. As Tokunaga Store took first place in this category in the KITV Viewers' Choice Awards. And joining us on the couch today is Michael Tokunaga, our owner of S. Tokunaga Store. How are you doing, Michael? Aloha, Lina. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having me. You know? Well, first of all, congratulations on oh, the big wow. win. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. You know, that, that was so awesome, you know. When Nate Lau, you know, gave me the news about, wow, being first place on the fishing and marine supply category I said oh my god what an honor <laughs> but yet I was so humbled because you know coming from a small mom and pop store yeah. and more so on the big island of Hawaii you know and then we're voted number one in the state well wow, that was so awesome to hear well you folks are also celebrating another big milestone this year right 104 years in business tell us how did this all start okay my grandfather started the business in 1920 it started as a true mom and pop store. Yeah. Kids running around, cribs in the store. <laughs> my grandfather and grandmother, you know, running the store. And then uh, later on, my mom took over the store. In mom took it over. Mom took oh. over the store in 1960. And that was my grandfather's daughter-in-law because my father always worked outside, oh. you know, believe it or not. And he, you know, worked as accountants on bigger corporations. So he didn't want to fool around with the small business. But then I give my mom big credit is because in 1960, running a fishing tackle business. Especially as a Wahine. Right. Exactly, oh, Lena. Man. Yeah. So then, you know, a lot of credit goes out to her. And then I started it in 1991. You took you over know. in 91. Yeah. But how she took it over because it was right after the 1960 tidal wave that my grandfather said, no, not for ready. Because he'd been in the 46 tidal wave, you know, prior to that. So he said, not for ready. But my mom said, no, 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 no. We got to uh, keep this we, business we, we, going. We got to keep it going. I love it. And yeah. I heard that you're going to be passing it on eventually to the fourth generation, yeah. which is my daughter. Your girl. Yeah, another female. Before we go on, uh, mahalo KITV viewers for voting. Us number one. <laughs> <laughs> it really is a team I effort know, to yeah, run a but, business but like this. Yeah, talking about team effort, you know, my staff, they're so good. You know, they're so conscientious workers. They treat the business like it was theirs. And, you know, yeah. a lot of times I see old time customers, hey, Michael, you're not ready for retire. These guys can take over already, you know, <laughs> but, but I'm there to direct traffic, That's mainly right. direct traffic, you know. And I tell my staff, I'm not the boss. I just direct traffic. Your bosses are the ones that walk in and out of the door, the ones on the opposite side of the counter, and the ones on the retail space. That's your bosses. That's, that's right. That's your, customers your customers are your boss. Exactly. exactly. I love that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I love that. And you know, you guys just had a special event a few days ago, the Ulua Casting Tournament. How did that go? Okay. Ulua Casting Tournament, we've been doing it for some 20 somewhat years, you know, mm -hmm. but we didn't do it during COVID time you know but they said oh, let's do it during COVID time because you know all these anglers wanted to keep on going but they wanted to do it virtual so I told them uh, virtual is not the same as for real right. you, you, you know yes. they, we, we set up a grand <laughs> stage with prizes then the winners come up shake hand you know the applause from the crowd it you know that good. Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah and when they weigh in the fish there's a big crowd you know there's like 1200 people watching and then we have a live stream going on too you know but it's not only catch. We have a catch and release division, so they can release all the minimum size. They got barbless hook divisions, so they can unhook the unwanted fish and all like that. And then we have um, outreach programs, so we can teach these people how to fish smart I love for the that. future. You know, always got to look for the future. Keep it sustainable. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. That uh -huh. is amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think that's the reason why you folks win. You win because you know who your boss is, which is your customer. You lead and you you inspire your team and you already have it set up for the next generation to take over as Tokunaga. Yeah, I hope so. That's why you're the best of the best. <laughs> oh boy. I love it. I love it. Um, for people like myself uh -huh. who are not exactly schooled in knowing how to fish uh -huh. or how to holo holo, uh -huh. what would you say for us who would like to get started? You know, 
that subject was so interesting because during COVID, a lot of activities were done outside. So we saw a lot of new faces, people who wanted to learn how to fish. And we also seen a lot of people who took a 10 year vacation from fishing <laughs> that went back into the sport, you know? So we got literatures to show you how to fish, where not to fish <laughs> and do's and don'ts. I you know, that. yeah, you gotta educate the people. Absolutely, yeah. mm -hmm. educating you to be a better fish and to be sustainable and just a great business. As Tokunaga store, Michael, thank you so much for joining us and wishing you the very, very best in, in all that you do in the future. Thank you, Lena. Thank Mahalo. you for having me. Mahalo. <laughs> mm -hmm.